The purpose of regression analysis is to estimate a relationship between two variables y and x. In particular, we are going to estimate a linear function that connects y to x using an equation of a line. In regression analysis, the best fitting line is the one that minimizes the sum of squared residuals, or the sum of squared differences between observed values of y and the values of y predicted by the regression model. We're going to denote the residuals with the letter E, because these residuals are often off called the errors. That's the error because it's the difference between the true value of y from our sample and the predicted value of y that our model gives us. In this illustration, we have a scatter plot. Uh, each observation is a location of soil or a plot of land. And on that plot of land, we know the moisture content of the soil and the number of alders that grow on that plot. And we've drawn the regression equation as the best fitting line through the scatter plot of points. For each location, let's start with, say, this location over here. We can compute the residual, or the error of our estimate at that location as the difference between yi and y hat. So in this case, yi is the level of, is the number of alders we observe at this location. Perhaps it's 65. And the y hat is the number of alders that we uh, predict at that location. I'm sorry, did I say that 65 is the number of alders that we've observed at that location? And we predict, using the equation of the line, that we have 60 alders at this location. In that case, the residual, or the error, for that sample point is going to be yi minus y hat, which is 65 minus 60, which is going to equal 5. The residual squared, so this is a particular residual, ei, the residual squared is equal to 5 squared, equals to 25. We can compute the residual for all of these points that we've observed in our sample. So each of these points is going to have a residual. When the model overestimates the value of y, in other words, when the value of y is below the line, we are going to have negative residuals. And when the model is underestimating the true value, we're going to have positive residuals. In either case, when we square the residuals, all of the squared residuals are going to be positive. So doesn't matter if you're overestimating or underestimating, the squared residuals will always be positive. And we are going to select a regression line that minimizes the sum of the squared residuals. The sum of EI squared.